Elhamdülillah ve salatu ve selamu ala Resulillah ve ala alihi ve sahbihi ve ben ve alah. Friday is a great day, it's our holiday, it is our Eid. Our Eid. Well, when we talk about problems, we talk about problems that usually starts big. The scholar said, everything starts small, then it grows up. And one of those things, of course, is arguments, disagreements, little pain, and so forth. So they said everything starts small, then it grows big, except two things. Al-Masa'ib, or Al-Musibah, tabda' kabira, thumma tasur. Calamities, when a calamity strikes, it strikes big, and then starts to get smaller. Starts to get smaller, especially with the believers. Because the teaching of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam He said إِنَّمَا الصَّبْرُ عِنْدَ الصَّدْمَةِ الْأُولَى Really patience is at the beginning of the calamity The minute you hear the news that someone you love died That is when you prove if you are patient or not How do you react? Do you scream? Do you cry? Do you collapse? Or do you say, Inna lillah wa inna ilayhi raji'un? We all belong to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we all will go back to Him. So the calamity starts big, but eventually it goes small. What are the things that starts big and usually usually everything that becomes too much it becomes cheap why do you think you don't see mercedes everywhere or bmw everywhere or those fancy cars you don't see them everywhere why because they don't manufacture too much. If they manufacture too much, it becomes cheap. One thing that you can relate to and I can relate to, too much of it doesn't become cheap. Yeah. We said everything when it becomes too much, it becomes cheap, except one thing. What is it? Adab. al adab good manners good manners will never go cheap the more good manners you have the more valuable you are the more good manners you have the more people love you the more good manners you have the closer you be with the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam the more good manners you have the more rewards you have a person with good manners and does the basics, five daily prayers, fasting Ramadan, and not much more, is a lot better than a person who has bad manners and prays a lot and fasts a lot and gives charity a lot. Manners is dealing with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and dealing with people and dealing with yourself. You yourself have to have manners with yourself and you have to have manners with people and you have to have manners when you worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so you need to focus on manners too much focus on manners too much not just you as students but teachers and parents and myself and shiuch and scholars everyone manners it's how you talk to people it's how you deal with people it's how you greet people. It's how you love people. It's how you are patient with people. 
it's how you control your anger with people it's how you care with people to with people all of these things are considered manners Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala puts you way high in Jannah because of manners Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't want you to have too much prayer and too much fast and too much of all of these things and you have no manners because they should bring you the manners prayer produces manners if you do it right fasting produces manners if you do it right a person who fasts and controls himself from food and water and all of this cannot control himself to not blow up in the face of other people or raise his voice on his mom and dad or in his wife or vice versa you can control yourself from this and you cannot control yourself from that that means your fasting is not good and the same thing with Hajj you go to Hajj you have people from everywhere people are squeezing people are walking all over uh, each other and you control yourself and that is not going to help you control yourself with other things that means you did not control yourself there so let's focus on manners let's focus on dealing with one another and caring for one another and speak gently Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said وَقُولُوا لِلنَّاسِ husna." say the good things to people don't frown in the face of people don't show any signs that shows that you are better maybe act arrogantly or some or even your tone of voice control that and make sure that you say the easy Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said وَقُولُوا لِلنَّاسِ husna." say the good things so your voice has to reflect goodness not sternness and ugliness how about with the language always good language so everything if you have too much of it it goes cheap except manners it will go very expensive and you the one who is carrying it will be very valuable not in the sight of people but also with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Have good manners and have a wonderful Friday, especially when you go to the masjid and pray. That's where you need to exemplify the best manners ever. No talking, no phone, no salamu alaikum, no alaikum as salam, no smiles, no laughs, no looking around, no playing with anything and get early and go as close as you can to the imam shower at home put some perfume smell good look good and go and enjoy the prayer that's what i call good manners subhanak allahumma wa bihamdik ashhadu an la ilaha illa ant astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaik wassalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh